Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're looking at a Lapras Silvali Quagsire deck. Um, one of, in my opinion, the better ways to play Lapras right now is with Silvali. And now that we have Dragon Majesty, we have access to the new Quagsire. So I think it combos very nicely. We're going to take a look at the deck here, what it's all about. So the main syner synergy strategy of the deck is very simple. So Lapras GX is kind of like your main dog. Um, so Lapras has 190 HP, which is one of the relevant things about this. It's very bulky. You add the attack Blizzard Burn, which for three waters, you can do 160 damage. And then this Pokemon can attack. Now, this is a strong attack because Choice Band gets you better numbers. Um, so Lapras can hit really hard. Collect is even pretty useful. The only problem with Lapras, though, we lost Max Elixir with Rotation, which is one of the reasons why Lapras was so effective, because you had Max Elixir and Aqua Patch to build up energy, which is really powerful. We even lost stuff like Manaphy, which is relevant. So Lapras took a big blow with Rotation. Um, now, we still have Aqua Patch to build it up, which is useful. But the combo I've decided to go with was, is Silvali with Turbo Drive. Now, there's a strategy with this deck to make Lapras be a little more tankier. And that's Quagsire. So Quagsire is a Stage 1 Pokemon here from Dragon Majesty. Rip my mouse. Um, so Quagsire has the ability to wash out. As often as like, during your turn, before you attack, you may move a Water Energy from your bench Pokemon to your active. Very powerful ability with Lapras, because the idea here is, is basically, let's say this. Okay, Lapras takes 150 damage from a Zork GX. We retreat Lapras, and then we wash out, move the energy to a new Lapras, and then just max potion or ace roll of the older Lapras with the damage on it that we retreated with. Very good combo. That's basically what this deck is all about. Now, how would we retreat Lapras other than retreating it manually, which, but we lose energy, so you can't... You can't retrieve that with Quagsire. Um, you could use Scoozmer Switch, but is it as effective? Well, we do have Silvali GX, which not only provides a good backup attacker, a good way to get energy in play, but you have the ability Gyro Unit. Your base Pokemon in play have no retreat costs, so it just gives Lapras free retreat, and you don't have to worry about paying energy retreat. So that's basically the combo of the deck. Um, and it's very good. And again, Silvali does provide a good backup attacker. The attack Rebel and Turbo Drive are very useful attacks. Rebel is very powerful, because it's like Lycanroc like GX's GX tech, same thing. Um, 50 damage for your opponent's bench Pokemon, easy to take a one shot. We even have Turbo Drive, which is really useful too. Um, being able to attach basic energy also helps build up Lapras. You can combo um, Turbo Drive with Jet Geyser on Prism Star Volk. So, Savali is really good. You also have type coverage, thanks to the memory cards. Fire Memory provides for good type coverage against the Metal Decks um, and Grass Decks. We know there are quite a few Metal Decks, Metagross, Sogaleo, um, Dust Mane across Magnazone, um, Scizor, you know, Stack Attacka, plus Galissapod and like Decidueye scene play right now. And we even have Fighting Memory, which is obviously just here for Zoark GX. So yeah, so Volley provides a very useful attacker in the deck. Um, so this card all around is just really good here. Um, and Quagsire itself, just for Washout, we only play a 1-1 line. We'll get into some of the usefulnesses though of, well, what if Quagsire isn't in play? Well, how would, what are you going to do with Max Potion? We'll talk about why that's actually good in a minute. So we'll take a look here at the other Pokemon in the deck. And there are some backup attackers, some non-GX guys. Obviously, Prism Star Volk. Um, Jet Geyser can be good with uh, Aqua Patch and with Silvali's attack. We also have Sauna Blast, though, which can do 100 damage. Um, so you can use this to deal with Hoopa. You can attack, like, other, you know, non-GX Pokemon. Um, which is a tanky 160 HP attacker. But doing 20 damage to each opponent's bench Pokemon is useful, if you think about it. That 20 damage can make Blizzard Burn do 180, which knocks out Rayquaza GXs. You can do 20 with a Choice Band, which Blizzard Burn does 210 in total, which knocks out Zoarks and Glissopods and stuff like that. And it also helps Silvali's Turbo Drive to hit for 140, which can one-shot Baby Buzzwolves. We also play one Kyogre. Um, I like this a lot in Water Decks. Dual Splash is actually really useful. Again, 30 damage can go a long way. And we also have Grand Wave, which can hit for 120. So that's easy. It's okay numbers. I wish it was hit for 140, though. But 120 will do. And it's a good non-GX stacker with 130 HP. We got a Ranguru for Instruct, and just one Lele, and that's basically it for the Pokemon. And if there were some other backup attackers for water types, Articuno is probably the only one I could think of. Um, Legendary Ascent can actually be useful with this deck, and you also have Ice Wing. So if you want to play Articuno, it don't you know, be my guess. Palkia GX wouldn't be terrible either if you really wanted to. But yeah, that's all the Pokemon. We go into the items now, now that we've talked about the strategy of the deck. Four Aqua Patch, very useful to get energy in play. Again, two max potions. To be able to use that Quagsire Silvali combo. Now here's the thing with Max Potion. If you don't get Quagsire in play, if you're playing against like a Shrine of Punishment deck or a Spread deck, 
you can actually just manually max potion and heal the Pokemon that are taking damage. So that's kind of the idea there. If max potion is useful with Quagsire, there you go. That's why we only played two. Um, we got a two Nest Ball count. We got three Brooklyn Hills just to get Pokemon to play. Three Brooklyn Hills is more important than playing three Nest Balls because it's good to get rid of Shrines. So four Ultra Balls, get our Pokemon. Or of course, we got a Rest Stretcher. Um, we got one Ace Rolla. Again, we can combo this with Lapras and Quagsire. Four Cynthia's for draw. Three Lilies for draw. Just two Guzmas. Three might be better, but I think two is fine with this deck. One Kikui. Again, that 20 damage can go a long way. Um, especially with Lapras, you know, Kikui, Blizzard Burn without Choice Ban, Chaos Rayquaza, you can also Kikui Choice Ban, 210, knock out a Zoark or something. Um, or Kikui for 140 on a baby Buzzle with, you know, Savali. Uh, one Volkner, very interesting choice, but I'm playing this because you can get Aqua Patch with it, you can get a memory card when you need it the most, you can get Choice Ban. Uh, just a lot of usefulness is in my opinion with Volkner. That's all the supporters. We got three Choice Bans, of course, for the extra damage, the two memories, four DCEs. Um, you can even use DC with Quagsire. Hydro Pump can actually work with DCE. Um, or DC might be a little overkill because you can't actually use DC with Blizzard Burn. But you use with Lele, Savali, work, it would work on Kyogre, it would work on Quagsire, and you can use it with Ranguru. And we got nine basic water energy. And yeah, this is the Savali Quagsire Lapras list that I've built. It's an interesting deck. Um, I think it helps Lapras out quite a bit to be a bit more competitive. Um, now that it has more to work with thanks to Quagsire. So we're going to go find some matches on PC Joe, and I'll catch you guys in just a moment with those games. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find some games with our Solvali Lapras deck. See what we can find and see how we can do with the deck. I am curious to see how this deck plays out. Hopefully we don't find too many like non-GX decks. I'm... The, the amount of like non-GX decks with Shrine of Punishments right now is just kind of... It's a little annoying. Just... Just a little. Uh, we'll go for Tails in the coin flip. It is kind of refreshing to be in a format, and I honestly do prefer a Shrine of Punishment based meta as opposed to like a Zork attacker meta or like an item lock heavy meta that we've had in the past. But uh, it's interesting that uh, GX decks, GX decks are actually not very useful right now, I'm finding. I don't know. Not that they're not useful, but it's just when you play against a Shrine of Punishment heavy deck, it's kind of annoying. So we'll see what we are up against. Okay, I figured we were up against something like Necrozma. Um, I guess we'll do Cynthia. Okay, it looks like we prize a Wooper though. That's a little bad. It looks like we're getting one-shotted though. For the most part. So we'll play Cynthia, see what we can find. Okay, we do have a water and a Sofali for next turn. So maybe I can bait my opponent into um he might, we can maybe rebel him next turn. That's the plan, I guess. We'll see if we can pull off a rebel GX. The thing with alternate Krosma decks is you like to fill up your bench, so maybe you can rebel him. Oh, he's playing Metagross. Hmm. Metagross is fine. We do have Fire Memory. If he has a full bench, we can rebel him, though it's probably better to wipe out Necrozma now. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how our setup goes. I mean, to be fair, it's probably better just to attack him with Lapras, because we do have that Blizzard Burn knock it. Okay, we do another type Null. Not really what we need. We'll attach Choice Band to Lapras. Don't really want to bench the other type Null, though it is nice to get the extra cards. We do Lily here. Alright, so we might as well attach to Lapras. I can actually go for Collect here, but... We might just get attacked. We're going to get hit for 130. It's not useful. We should be able to attack with Lapras next turn, though, potentially. If not, we can try and rebel him. Okay, now I'm glad I did not go for Collect. Collect would have seemed like a good play, but the problem is... is that maybe if I, if I had a Wooper in play, I would have went for the Collect play, because I could have set up like a Max Potion combo with Quagsire on like, another Lapras. But it's probably better to just... Let him attack Type Null. He's not knocking me out. He's 10 short. So that's good. He's not going to KO me right away. Can't really do Guzma this turn either, which is nice. He's going to do Lily over his Cynthia. Okay. So I got a Lily for 3, though. No, he has Ultra Ball. Does get rid of a... Okay, he had Guzma. He does get rid of a Stretcher, though, which is good to see get discarded. Grab another Beldum. He can fill up his bench. It's probably better to save Rebel GX for Metagross, to be honest with you. Um, so we really gotta hope we can use that for that. 
We can also maybe like if Rebel, if for some reason he only has four Pokemon in play, Rebel can hit for 240. Well, we can either go Choice Band or Fire Memory and knock him out that way. So he's gonna hit me for 100, which is fine. We did draw Brookwood Hill. I can definitely take advantage of that and get another Lapras in play. Well, Cynthia, really hope we can hit Water and Aqua Patch play. Nice, we got him. We got him. We'll probably have to get rid of Silvali. Probably better. This guy's already heavily damaged. It's an easy Guzma target. Don't really know what we need to grab, though. Might not even grab anything. There's nothing really on this list that I'm looking for. Well, I mean, I guess it's fine. We grab Lele if we want to do Guzma. Do we have our Guzma? Yeah, we got one prize. So yeah, we'll grab Lele in case we want to do Guzma for some reason. We will take a knockout here, which is pretty big. Plus, we can set up a Rebel play next turn, potentially. Hopefully, we get Wooper off the prizes. Probably better to go 2-1 Wooper. We got it, nice. And another energy, that's pretty good. We could probably uh, knock him out with Rebel. We can... We're in a good spot. That Getting that knockout was really important. Um... We'll see if he attacks with Metagross. He didn't need to get two Metagross in play to pull this off. He probably plays a baby Metagross, though, so we gotta watch out for that. But, uh, very nice, because we are drinking... What is it? Voltage Mountain Dew? I don't know, I got this in my college, but, uh... Blue drink for a blue deck. Thought I'd go with the thing. Alright, so let's see what my opponent does. I don't think he plays any Vulpixes. I know my opponent's definitely gonna just try to play around the Rebel. We do have Fire Memory, but the only problem is Fire Memory doesn't one-shot him without the Kiwi. He's gonna get back Lily and Cynthia. I mean, worst case scenario, if he gets two Metagross in play off this Taint Liza... Don't know what to say, I'll be speechless. There's only five cards, though. So it's looking likely he won't hit the double Metagross play. That would be a little insane. He does lose a Judge, though, which is a good discard. He's gonna bench another Pokemon for me, and he concedes the match. So the early game Lapras aggression is still possible... You just have to get lucky. Ooh, only three Metagross. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, not bad. Showed off how early game Lapras Aggression works. Obviously, it's been used in the past, but that knockout was really important. So let's see what we're up against next. Ewoke Chief Chipra. Alright, looks like he's playing a Vika Bulu deck. Arguably one of our worst matchups. Uh... Bulu is obviously a grass type, which is what Lapras is weak to. He could be playing Galissapod. I'd rather him play Galissapod because we do have one fire memory. But other than that, it's a pretty unfortunate matchup, though. We do actually have a pretty good starting hand, though. We do have a good starting hand. It might have been better to start with Volk there in case he's playing a grass deck. He probably is. It's fine, though. Volk is weak to lightning, so it probably was better to start with Volk, but I'm just thinking collect. Okay, it is a blue spot deck. So, Brooklyn Hill. Check the deck real quick. I don't know if I need anything. We do have two type nulls. Do we have our fire memory? We do. We have all our DCEs. It looks like we prized two water energies. We have all our Arca patches. We have our max potions. I might just get Kyogre. It might be better to tag with non GX Pokemon in this matchup. So I'm going to get Kyogre. We'll attach to Lapras, and we'll Lily for six. And all right, not a bad hand. Uh, we'll get rid of Lapras and a Water Energy. We'll get uh, Type Null. That's not Type Null. That is Type Null. Maybe I shouldn't have attached to uh, Lapras. It's fine, though. We'll see if we knock him out next turn. I don't think we will. It's fine, though. I think I am going to go into Volk here, just retreat Lapras going to Volk. Judging from this Wimpod, though, is he not playing the Wimp Out one? Like, is he- is this not a Galissapod GX deck, or is it just, like, is he playing, like, Galissapod with Absolute Claw or something? Is he playing the, the GX anti-card? I don't know what it is. That could actually be a really interesting combo with Shine of Punishments. Just thought of that. There's a lot of interesting Shine decks to try out. I don't know how people- if you guys would even want to see more Shine decks. That's not the problem, but- Something like uh, Baby Glissopod with Shine could actually be a very cool deck to look at in the future. Maybe like, like Promo Lorantis, Shine of Punishment. That guy should be a really interesting idea. And speaking of Shine, there it is. So 
double nest ball for another type null. It's probably gonna be the Silvali show. We'll choice ban the Lapras, I guess? Because we could technically still hit him hard. Well, Cynthia, really looking for Silvali here. If not, we can always do collect. You didn't even get energy, anyways. Okay, we do have that play. Bit of an awkward hand, though. Alright, we'll get rid of Nest Ball and Lele, because we do have Stretcher. We'll grab the Silvali. I could retreat, but I think it's fine to go collect. You didn't even get energy, but most thing you do is ram me, so it's not a big issue. So we'll collect for three, see what we find. Hopefully we get a nice supporter for next turn. Ooh! Fire Memory! So if he puts the Galissapod GX down, there you go. I wish we had a Guzma, though, to follow up with, but not a bad hand at all. We're gonna see a Timer Ball, Double Tails. Dang it. So he's gonna- yep, there it is. There it is. That's the only problem with playing these GX heavy decks right now. There are so many random Shine decks being played, it's insane. It's actually insane how much Shine of Punishments is being used right now. Alright. So he's gonna do that, and he's gonna pass. Alrighty then, that is fine. I actually have a pretty good turn here to play a little aggressive. So what we'll do... We'll choice ban the Kyogre. We will... We're gonna have to devote two DCs to our Solvali to make this work. We force him to retreat. And we attach the fire memory and knock him out. We're gonna have to devote two DCs, that's fine though. Not a big issue. Ooh. And I might um Okay, we'll go one Lapras technically can one is one of the only things that can actually one-shot this Glissopod outside of Sopoly with the fire memory. So I think it is best to just build up Lapras here. Slid him for 210. And we'll just build up Lapras. Even though Shine's in play, we'll be able to set up a Quagsire play really soon. We can Jet Geyser. If he, if he tries to just put another Wimpaw down, build it up, we'll just bring it back up. And Jet Geyser, bring it back into play. So not bad. Not a bad turn at all. This is why Prism Star Volk is so good with Silvali. So he is going to play a Guzma. Bringing out Volk, which again doesn't really matter because we do have a Fear Tree. And we just win the game up. Well, uh... Yeah, let's just uh, knock him out with uh, Turbo Drive. Not bad. Pretty good setup from us. We had a Lapras built up. We were going to build more energy and play. So, yeah. That is the power of Silvali Lapras. I kind of want to look at this list. Oh, never mind. I can't. Interesting idea, though, with the thing. We are going to be able to open up two uncommon chests, which we may as well open up. Maybe try and get some good cards. Out of them, and we got a Breakpoint pack coming out very soon, too. Not much from Breakpoint I really need. The only worthwhile thing is Full Art Supporters, Full Art EXs that I don't have, and I guess Reverse Hall of Greninjas would be fine. Alright, so here we go. First chest. 25 coins and a rare. Is really, well, not a rare, but a good card. Vanillax. Alright, not that great. So we got another chest to open up. Versal Energy Lotto is actually really nice, because that's a decent card. Decent card. Alright, not a bad at all. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys in a minute with just another game. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do another game with our Silvali Lapras deck. We'll see how we do. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of like non-GX decks going right now. We'll see if we end up playing against any more. Um, or whatever happens, happens. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna get another game. And we are up against, ooh, a Fighting Dark Psychic deck. This is probably a Buzzwool Garboder deck. We'll have to see, though. It could be a Zork Lycanroc deck, though, too. So hopefully it's Zork Lycanroc. I think that would be a better matchup. We don't win the coin flip, though, which kind of sucks. Going first is deck, I think, is always a positive, because you do play two stage, stage one Pokemon. Alright, so let's see. We are going to mulligan here. See if we can get a better starting hand, of course. And we'll see what kind of a deck this is. If it's going to be Zork, Lycanroc, or if it's going to just be a Buzzwool deck. Because if it is Buzzwool Garb, the Dark type could just be Weavile. But there is no Colorless or any Fire. So that's like the only, only like suspicious thing about it. So we'll have to see. 
All right, we got a Kyogre start. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty good starter is Kyogre. It can tank a hit. We can maybe do dual splash. We are going first, so I don't think we need to. We'll see. I mean, to be fair, dual splash is good with Lapras so that we can actually hit good numbers. So, I don't know. Well, depending if it is going to be a Zorak deck. Okay, so it is Zorak Lycanroc. This matchup is okay. Preferably, Lycanroc is the biggest obstacle because it can take a hit from Lapras a lot of the time. And Claw Slash can one-shot your Silvalis. So, it's a little bit of a... Yeah, oh, he got the rock from the energy. I hate when they do that. Most annoying thing ever is when they get the rock of energy. Now I'm in, I am tempted to build up dual splash, to be honest. I mean, Kyogre can take a hit potentially, so it might be worth it. We'll have to see, though, what my opponent gets. There's a baby buzz and a pass. Let's see, we draw. Type Null is a good draw. We'll attach and we'll Cynthia. Probably looking for a Wooper here or something. We got Wooper. Pretty decent pretty decent hand, too. I kind of like it. So, yeah, we'll Brooklyn Hill if it lets us. We will put Wooper down. So, let's check what we got prized. Looks like our Pokemon are here. Uh, we did prize Tapu Lele GX, it looks like, which is fine, I guess. Not the big, big issue. We have Kiwi. We do have our Fighting Memory, which is important. We did prize a Water Energy. We got all our DCEs, all our Choice Bands. We did prize a Guzma. We prized a Cynthia. Alright, just good to know. We have both our max potions, and we did prize an Aqua Patch, so... Not the best prizes, but not the worst ones either. And yeah, we will pass. Gotta be careful what we bench, because I don't want to walk into Dangerous Road, but other than that, we got a good setup here. And next turn, we might be able to Rebel him. So, that's good. Though, mm, I kind of want to knock out the Ly the Rockruff, though. So, he's going to put down a fourth Pokemon. So, we actually do have Rebel to knock out a Lycanroc GX. If we can top deck a Guzma here, which we only have one chance of getting Guzma, unfortunately. Never mind, he's going to judge me. That was a really good hand, and now it's gone. I was going to say, we could Guzma potentially knock out a, Lock a Lycanroc if he does put one down. Okay, we got the Kiwi and a Water Energy. Not preferably beyond a play. Ooh, he fills his bench up, though. And just a pass. No Zoark is really good. I don't want to put too many Mons on my bench. I do have to play Kikui. Oh, man. It's honestly tempting just to save it. Because it's like one of those cards I don't want to play. But... Uh, we could just get a Water Energy and an Ultra Ball. And then I could grab a Quagsire. No, never mind. That would make no sense. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, we can maybe get the perfect amount of cards to knock him out. Okay, we got a Cynthia. Um, we might as well play Dual Splash. I guess we'll hit him for 50. We'll definitely want to hit that Rock Ruff, too. So, not terrible. Rock Ruff is now in range of getting KO'd by... Well, Lycanroc, sorry. Can't get Blizzard Burned with a Choice Band. Bit of a waste of Kikui, though. It's one of the most important cards in this matchup, too. Because that kind of sucks. We had to waste it so early on. We'll see if Kyogre goes down. If it does, we might be in trouble. We'll see, though. Kyogre getting KO'd would be a little bad, not going to lie. He's going to need Devoured Field, though, and a Zoark. He might play Devoured Field. I don't know what these Zoark Lycanroc decks, decks are playing nowadays. I don't know what these lists are playing, so we'll have to see. I mean, I could literally just go on Limitless right now and Google it, but I don't feel like it. So did he even hit Zoark? Did he hit the Zoark off that Cynthia? He did. There's an Ultra Ball. He's going to get rid of an Ultra Ball and an S Ball. So two pretty, pretty interesting cards. Ult getting rid of the other Ultra Ball is kind of nice, too. I mean, he could, if he really wants, he could take a knockout on Wooper if he has Lycanroc and Zoark. He might see the threat of um, Quagsire. Losing, losing Wooper would be pretty big. We'll have to see. So he's going to grab Zoark. Alright, there it is. So he is going for Zoark. If he does have a Devoured Field, I mean... Low-key, I am going to cry. Because we're going to lose two of our Water Energies. We're not going to be able to respond right away. I don't know if we can pull off a Quagsire combo with Wooper. And, well, with Quagsire and Silvali and Aqua Patch. It's possible. It's possible, but I, I don't know. 
No, he's just gonna hit me for 120, which is fine. Now, if we can get Quagsire here in an energy, we'll be in a good spot. There's an energy. Well, how much HP does he have? Oh, rip. So, yeah, if we had Choice Man and Kikui still, we could knock him out with Grand Wave. That'd be lit. So, we'll attach to Lapras. So, we can knock him out with Blizzard Burn. Now, here's the thing. We really gotta hit Quagsire off this Cynthia. I don't want to put any more Pokemon down, because I don't want to get Lycanroc, but... I do want to thin out the deck at the same time, because all we need to hit is Quagsire. We haven't played any Ultra Balls yet. Problem is, though, if I bench a Pokemon and I get knocked up by Dangerous Rogue, I'm in a bad spot. Nice, we got it, we got it. So we'll get rid of Brooklyn Hill and Type Null. We'll get Quagsire. Pretty clutch, pretty clutch Ultra Ball. And uh, we'll knock him out here, which is pretty good. We can keep Kyogre alive, too. Which is nice. So yeah, we'll retreat into Lapras. We should be safe. He'll, he's gonna need a, a choice ban, which he's already played. I think Zorg lists are only playing two choice bans now. But we are gonna show off the Quagsire Silvali combo. It'd be nice to max potion or um Kyogre though, but that's fine. Um just to burn it. And we'll just knock him out Blizzard Burn. Just enough damage too, thanks to Kyogre. Even though we had choice ban, but still. So we'll get our two prizes. There's a Volkner. Volkner could be useful. If Lapras doesn't go down next turn, we can Volkner, maybe Fighting Memory if he decides to go with the Zork GX here. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good spot, I'd say. And he's going for the Sledgehammer, which will not knock me out. Unless, like, out of nowhere, he drops Choice Bank Kikui. Ooh, an Apricorn Maker for his supporter for the turn. That's when you know your turn wasn't so good. Now, this is kind of where the Kikui comes in handy, because you can Grand Wave knock him out with uh, Kyogre. We can't do that, though, which is unfortunate. I might just do another Dual Splash. I'm Like, I can Volkner, grab Max Potion, Dual Splash, heal. I don't know. I kind of feel like that might not be a good play, though. Ooh, we got rid of two Rock Rocks, though. He's probably going to Lycanroc. He could knock out my Silvali this turn. No, he's actually just going to grab Zoark. Okay. Never mind. He did play Apricorn Maker, though, as a support for the turn. He didn't just discard that. He, I know he played it. So, I mean, he could hit a Lycanroc in an energy here. And he could knock out Savali. That would cripple my setup quite a bit. But it won't damage Lapras. Then we get Blizzard Burn and we knock him right back out. So, we'll have to see if he does hit it. I'm actually kind of glad he's not playing, like, Weavile or anything. Ooh, Field Blower does get rid of Choice Band in Brookwood Hill. Fine by me. I'm actually glad it didn't get rid of, like, any Fighting Memories. And just an energy. Does he have Lycanroc, though? No, he doesn't. So he's just gonna Sledgehammer me. For 140. Okay. Hmm. So, I can Rebel KO him, but that just seems dumb. Uh, maybe the best play is just going with another Lapras. I think we kind of have to. Uh, I don't want to play any more Pokemon on my bench. I think I have to, though. He's only got two cards in hand, though. I don't know. This is still risky. This is still a little risky. So I really don't want to get Dangerous Rogue, but we have to deal with this stupid Buzzle. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed Lapras. Maybe I should have just went for like a dual splash. But we would have still gotten KO'd by Sledgehammer. I think we just go for it. Yeah, we go for it. I guess just hope he doesn't have anything else. I'll grab Stretcher for a Ranguru, I guess. I would like to get Max Potion, but there's not much I can really do. We can probably we can try and respond to the Rebel next turn. Bit annoying I have to do this, but who knows? Maybe we maybe he just doesn't get like not. Um, so we'll see. We do have an aqua patch, so we'll have something to respond with at the very least. We have stretcher, so we'll we'll be okay for next turn. Um he has played three ultra balls. He's played a few energies. He's got two cards in hand, he only has one trade. Ooh, Ultra Ball is a decent draw too. So we just gotta hope he doesn't dangerous rogue me. This is kind of why I was wanting to be a little careful on my bench. The problem is, if I brought out Kyogre, ooh, no Guzma, so he doesn't have it. That is huge. That is huge. He could knock out Lapras with Zoark, but I don't think that matters. And then my bench isn't going to be as bad anymore. 
was going to trade, get rid of one card. It was an Ultra Ball, so maybe if this trade gave him an energy, he would have had the knockout. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, so he'll knock me out, which is fine. Uh, we'll bring out Lapras, and we'll see if we can hit Fighting Memory. Maybe? Let's see. What do we draw? Type Null. Um... Alright, I think what we have to do... Grab nothing. We're gonna... I mean, we still have a bunch of all the badges. That's the first one we're getting rid of. I don't think I'm gonna grab anything. We have the Fighting Memory in the deck, and then hopefully we're able to get more energy in play. We are gonna get that Dangerous Rogue Rain, but this is for a good cause. Because we knock out Zoark, we're almost guaranteed to win. Alright, this has to be a very clutch instructor. I at least have to get a supporter. No supporter. Wow, that is rip. That is rough. Alright, we did find an energy, however, which is a good sign. We do have max potion, so I can heal my Kyogre. I mean, I could just go for dual splash this turn. Wish I could knock out Rockruff, though. I mean, is it worth it to go dual splash? I don't know. I don't think it is, because he could still very well get a knockout next turn. So I don't think it's worth it. I... Hmm. Maybe we just Ice Beam him. No, I don't like that either. Ice Beam seems kind of silly. Rebel could come in handy to win the game at some point. Maybe, I think we just hit him for 160? We'll heal Kyogre just to burn a card. But yeah, I think we just hit him for 160. And hope he doesn't do Ace Rolla and go into Lycanroc or something and Dangerous Rogue me. I guess that has to be my best play. I don't know. We can try and take a Rebel Knockout on a, on a uh, Lycanroc though in the coming turns. So he's going to do a trade. This is going to be a very big turn for my opponent to decide whether or not he's going to win. Weakness Policy, that could come in handy now that it's in the discard. Without that, he won't be able to save himself from fighting memory. Let's see. Now, he does have 50 HP, so we could still set up a dual splash KO with choice ban. We still have two choice bans left. So, the options to win are very good. Ooh, he's going to Kikui me, which won't let him knock me out. Unless he, like, somehow pull... No! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't tell me this dude actually has two Pokemon. Okay, oh my gosh, my heart. I literally was about to eat a piece of popcorn. I chucked it. That was scary. That was very scary. But we will knock him out here with either Kyogre or whatever. Do I even want to still bench anything? I think who cares. I think we're okay. One, Since we're taking the prize, we can honestly knock him out with Prism Star. I don't really care about Dangerous Rogue. We're, we're gonna be out on one prize. Two waters. Still no supporter though. That's fine. I might just knock him out with Silvali. I really wish we got a choice man. Knocking him out with Dual Splash would have been huge. But I think we just KO him with Silvali here. I could also force him to bring something up and then we just get a free prize. But we gotta deal with this guy. So. Hmm. Actually, no. We knock him out with the Volk, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll do this. We'll retreat. The Volk. We'll knock him out with Prism Star Volk. I like this play a bit more. Because we also set up the bench, too. Especially if we set up that Zora would be KO'd if he goes another Zora. We could lose Lapras, but our hand is good enough to be okay next turn. So we'll just Sauna Blast, knock out Zora, take our two prizes... This game should be wrapped up. There's Lele, there's a water energy. We finally got Lele, so that's really big for... We basically win. We, we literally win the game. Lele, Guzma, and uh, bring out Dion, Seer, so we win the game. So, intense match. I think my opponent got kind of unlucky-ish without... I mean, he almost had a Kikui knockout. Like, Devour Field, Kikui ZX with 30, Choice Band 60. He would have came... He would have, I think, KO'd me. I think he would have done 100 and 90 on the dot. I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure my opponent almost killed Mizorg, even if he didn't. 
And wow, just a surprise attack. And that is indeed game. We'll give him the well played. We'll just sauna blast him. So yeah, a matchup like this, I think, is hard to navigate, especially with Silvali being weak to Lycanroc. Um, Quagsire can easily be picked off with Bloodthirsty Eyes and Righteous Beating. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong in this matchup that make it really bad. But overall, it's not... We got a little lucky there, I'd say. The fact that he didn't get a single Lycanroc in play is pretty important. Um, we also kind of got... We kind of avoided any, like, creepy Sledgehammer plays where, like, it kind of hurt us. But I think that was an amazing match that showcased the deck beautifully. We got to show off the Quagsire combo in, like, perfect succession. So I think I'm just going to end out the video here. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed... Make sure to leave a like, and again, don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to 4,000 subscribers. The growth, the support on the channel recently has been just tremendous, and it's been motivating me. I just gotta say again, just thank you guys. I gotta thank you guys, because it's just amazing to see the growth in the channel. Um, yeah, so the Savali, Quagsire, Lacrass. If I were to change the deck, I kind of want to find room for a second Wooper line. Um, but other than that, I think this deck is fine. I think it plays pretty well. Your matchups are not terrible. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty fun deck to play. Give it a whirl if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in another PDC Joe video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, peace out. Have a good day, guys. Bye.